And welcome back to SBC Radio. Jack Roscoe, David Coburn, and Henry Dodds here with me as uh, we get ready to discuss some NFL news as Josh Gordon has been reinstated from his indefinite suspension by Roger Goodell and given a new four-game suspension. He'll be eligible to return week five for the Browns. Henry, what do you think? Uh, well, I think when you talk about Josh Gordon, what you really have to look at is the issue of how the NFL is punishing players, how Roger Goodell is punishing players, and should the NFL allow its players to be smoking marijuana in places where it's legal, in places where it's illegal, how is that going to be handled? Because you look at Josh Gordon's suspension, he's been out of the league for a while now. And there are guys who are beating their wives, there are guys who are taking steroids, there are guys who are doing a lot worse things than Josh Gordon are, but they're not getting punished as harshly. So I think if you're the NFL, you need to take a serious look at the way that you're disciplining your players. I mean, this kind of connects to the Deflategate too, and setting some precedent for what the punishments are for things, because right now it just makes no sense to me. But I'm glad that Josh Gordon's back in the league. David Henry brings up a really important argument that Eugene Monroe brought up before he retired last week about the validity of being able to smoke marijuana as an NFL player. Do you think that the players should have that right in places where it's legal, illegal? What do you think? I think they should uh, because, I mean, if, if because of the suspension, I thought exactly what you thought. It was completely like, bogus. You see a lot of other people doing terrible things. Take a look at Ray Rice, for example, Ray Rice. And that, that's with a lot of footage, that's with um, clear evidence, and he only got a two-game suspension. And so I think that or the NFL should find a different way to handle this because right now it's not looking too good. And uh, you both bring up some really good points. It's a big argument. Definitely not getting solved anytime soon. We're going to go to the phones right now. Let's hear from Ryan in Boston. Hey, guys. Love the show. First time caller, long time listener. But I'm pretty upset right now. I really thought Boston, as the Celtics had a chance to – Pull KD, and he, and he kind of left us hanging for Golden State, the super team. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Did we ever have a shot? Well, I mean, they really pulled out all the stops. Tom Brady showed up. Big Poppy showed up. I mean, everybody who possibly could have brought Kevin Durant to Boston showed up, and Durant was clearly impressed. He had nothing but tremendous things to say about Danny Age and the organization as a whole. However, what it really came down to was, regardless of what he says, I think in reality the situation was really always going to be either Golden State or OKC. In reality, those are the only two teams that would have been able to put a team together that surrounded him with the guys that could win him a championship now and win him a championship in years to come. So you're going to hear a lot of criticism about super teams and everything, but the guy wants to win. He couldn't win. If you can't beat him, join him. Henry, your thoughts? Well, I got something to say about that super team thing. And I think this is a take that's different from what a lot of people have been saying about Kevin Durant going to the Warriors. And a lot of people are mad that he's gone to the Warriors. They're calling him a wimp. I know Charles Barkley said it was like a girly move or something like that, a classic Charles Barkley line. But he says things. The, f the fact of the matter is, the way that the NBA works right now, Kevin Durant did not break any rules. Kevin Durant was a free agent. He was an unrestricted free agent. He's allowed to sign wherever he wants. The Warriors had the necessary cap space to sign him. And if you're Kevin Durant, why would you not go to the, a team that's going to set you up better? The Warriors have a smoother offense than the Thunder. The Warriors are going to get him open looks. And it's true, he is almost guaranteed a ring. Now, if you're a real you know, hardliner who thinks he should have stuck it out with the Thunder, you can make kind of a moral argument there. But from a basketball standpoint, he can, he can play wherever he wants. And I think that people are acting like he broke the rules. And uh, what do you think? This is one quick thought. I thought it was kind of like a cowardly move because he's just stacking up one big team in the East, and now the M the NBA is not might not be as exciting as it was in the past couple seasons. So that's all I gotta say. And uh, just one quick point before we have to wrap up. I would just like to point out that a lot of people are criticizing guys for taking the money, and a lot of people are criticizing guys who want to win. Kevin Durant found a way to do both, but also to somehow do neither. So it's just an interesting point to think about. You can't really have it both ways unless you're Kevin Durant. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for SBC Radio. David Coburn, Henry Dodds, I'm Jack Roscoe.